Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You know what that sounds means. It's drawful time. All right, well, the room code for this round is JPGA. We haven't played this in quite a long time. I have missed it a little bit. And so I put the room code inside the uh, chat. Hopefully people will go ahead and join in here. And uh, we're going to play a little bit of a round. Because I decided to do a throwback. For, because they just announced um, the Jackbox Party Pack 2 coming out soon. So go ahead and go and support Jackbox Games and everything they do. Because everything they do is awesome. And uh, they're making... I think the first thing that they've shown off is Fibbage 2. Which actually added in a lot of the... Um, audience aspects the quiplash has and uh you know adds a whole bunch more questions and and new ways to generate the questions and we'll see what other games are actually in jackbox party pack too until then we gotta wait on everybody to draw their avatar and then we'll be able to get into the damn game let's see who we've got in here we got marcy uh woodrow dan the doctor tyler azure and a dude Excellent. <coughs> Unfortunately, yeah, those who aren't able to get in, you can't play as audience in this one. Then that function doesn't exist. I'm sorry. And we're just waiting on the doctor. We got some good drawing so far. Azure with the lightning bolt, that's great. Uh, Awer dude with a baseball cap in the ocean. Tyler with a nice geeky drawing of himself. I love Marcy's little cat person. <laughs> and Dan, of course, drew a person saying, Arriba! Oh, no. Are you telling me that that is you, Queen? Did you ruin my first game of Drawful in a long time? Am I going to be so mad at you right now? I am a sad panda. All right. Guess we're gonna have to do it again. Yeah, you should be sorry. Every time, every damn time. There. I added a circle to my happy face. And so now that leaves a slot open for somebody who wants to try and jump in. Oh, Marcy. Excellent. So who do we get? Random. Random joined in. Hooray. It's okay, Queen. I forgive you. Things happen. Azure now with an apple, possibly an apple, with a slice drawn out of it. Woodrow with a nice little trinity fist. Love it. Marcy with pretty much the exact same drawing. I'm actually pretty impressed at your ability to recreate that. Good job. Everybody's in. Three, two, one. Hello, everyone. This is Drawful. Well, well, well. Eight players. All right, enough jibber jabber. Let's play. Yeah, let's play. I haven't played in a while. Okay, I'm sending a title to each of your devices. Something odd, like Doctor hmm. Who or Squirrel Watch. Draw a picture on your device that would have that title, and when you're done, hit send, and you'll get points for each player that can correctly guess your title. So, get to drawing. Uh, I'm gonna have to crane my neck on this one. That's probably the worst drawing I've ever done! Hooray! Hey! And we hit sin. Cause fuck it, why not? Do 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 
I look forward to seeing what you all have drawn for me. It's time to play some more Drawful, cause we haven't played it in quite some time. No, 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 we haven't. Uh. All right, we got two left, one left. Do, 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 do. Hey, hey, queen. I've had enough. You have 30 seconds before you lose your drawing. It really? Like 30 seconds. <laughs> All right, good job. Uh, these are interesting. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, I hate when I do that, Azure, and you don't leave now, yourself enough room to do anything. To type in what you think the title it happens of this more often than you would think. Or better yet, something you think could trick the other players into thinking it's the title. You'll get points for every player that picks your answer. Oh, let's see what you all can make out of this shit. <laughs> Hey, that drawing was great, and I stand by it. You can go back to the VODs on that one. Also, good luck. Also, I really love Marcy's derpy little grin there. It makes me laugh every time. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, make your selections, everybody. We got lazy o'clock, business time, time business, stop, hammer yime, 500, clock having the shits, time for recess, or 3 p.m. business time biatch. I'm kind of partial to 3 p.m. business time biatch. That's pretty great. All right, who picked what? <laughs> No, it's not time for recess. That was Marcy's. Business time, however, is the correct answer. I might try to forget any of this ever happened. Holy crap, that's so many points. Six thousand points in the first round. Oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, you all flatter me so much. I do believe I have the vapors. A convincing title now. Hmm. Hey. Forty-five seconds left. Oh. You better get in those answers. Yeah, Harwood, I kind of fat finger everything as well, which is why I end up using the uh, keyboard and mouse. It seems to work better for me. I don't know why. And Dan, you're just mad that it's not you. If it was you, you'd be all rejoicing and everything too, so don't even try and give me that. Hurry up, type in gibberish if you have to. It's not gonna happen, Queen. And it's not gonna happen. Choices. So we have I Dream of Vampires, Patient Dreams, One of JD's Daydreams, I assume that's a scrub reference. Daydreaming in Extreme Pain, Dreaming of Vampires, Cool Vampires, though. Doctor Dreaming of Patients, Life Flashing Before My Eyes, and a Dentist's Nightmare. Hmm. Pick something. That's a rough one. Hey! I don't know. Here's everybody's picks. I think I yeah, I went with <laughs> Patient Dreams. Damn it, Dan. Oh well. At least it was just me who gave you points on that. Sorry. Vampires is always yours idea. Life flashing before my eyes. That's Marcy's. Good job, Tyler. What about daydreaming in extreme pain? Nope. That was Tyler's. Nice. Point exchange there. Good job. But dentist's nightmare. Well, let's not waste any more time on this one. Yep. 
Yep. That's the actual title. Son of a bitch! Good job, Random. That was actually a really good drawing. 3,000 points. Ooh. That puts you a little bit closer to me than I want. Eee. We gotta fix that. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's a funny guess, but I don't know how many points he's gonna get. It looks like Fairy God Football. Or Heavenly Hot Cross Buns. Or Fairy God Parents! Ah, somebody put fairy godparents. That's pretty great. Um, ooh. Hey. Actually, we have magic ham, fairly go fairy godparents, fairy cross buns, magic wand, make my potato grow. That's a good Power Rangers reference there. Fantasy football, Thanksgiving turkey king, football fairy, or meat fairy. Queen guessed the football fairy in chat, so we'll see who gets that one. What did everybody pick? Meat fairy? Oh, that was Awer's guess. Then we have fantasy football. Damn! I'm not sure how to feel about all of you. That is 5,000 points for fantasy football. All awarded to Tyler. Holy shit! Way to clean up, man. And, oh. Oh, I'm still holding strong. Uh, oh, <laughs> I see what you mean now, Azure. You did start a little high in the frame, huh? Um. Hey! Oh, we need one more guess. There it is. Okay, here are your choices. Hmm. Dancing lion. Porn. Cowardly lion. Angry stomping beard man. Dancing hobo. Weird Al Yankovic. Sasquatch. The musical. And ca caveman tap dance. Oh, make your picks, ladies and gentlemen. Which one, which, which of those answers is it? I do like Weird Al Yankovic, that's pretty good, but I think he would draw an accordion if that were the case. I don't know. I'm gonna go with Dancing Lion on that one. Dancing Hobo. Nope, that's Dan's. Good job on giving him points. And also Random, wow. Wow, two people with the same answer on that one. Caveman Tap Dance. Thank you. I appreciate your 500 points. Thank you. Not Porn. That was a random decoy. I can't believe that a random decoy was actually porn. Also, good job, Awer Dude, for picking up 1,500 points there. Dancing Lion! Yeah! That's the answer. I mean, you were close with The Lion King. It was just more The Lion King, the musical. <laughs> I got you. I got you, Azure. We're right there. Oh, excuse me. And that's 1,500 points. Going right into my pocket. Mmm, that feels so good. Oh, those points, they feel so good. Okay, um. Mmm. Yes, bathe me in your hate. It tastes so delicious. You have 35 seconds to get in your losing guesses now. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Um. Hey. Here are your choices. 
<laughs> we have cock, the ugliest duckling knows the truth, goth pigeon, goth duck, bird that can't spell, emo chick, emo duck, and lick quack. Pick something. Hey! All right, who picked what? Is it the ugliest duckling that knows the truth? Nope, that was Azure. Good job. Sorry, Queen. I didn't make me mean to uh, make you choke there real quick. Maybe I did. Mm. Also, it looks like everyone seems to have stolen points away from the actual title. I'm so sorry, whoever that was. Although, I think it was Awer who just cleaned up on that one. Was I, am I wrong? No, Azure. Okay. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, random! Oh, no! Oh, no! This is not good. Um. Hmm. There we go. And here are your choices. Hmm. We have crocodile tears, dinosaur diarrhea, nervous dinosaur, a crying crocodile, crocodile, excuse me, nervous alligator, a nervous T-Rex, a sweaty dinosaur, or nervous raptor on a first date. The uh, first date raptor would be pretty funny if that was the actual title. I like that one a lot. Um, let's go with that one. What did everybody pick? Crocodile tears? No, that's clearly sweat, not tears. But good job to Dan for getting a couple points. Random, I swear. Okay, that was Azure. Good job. I'll give you some points. You need it. Not a nervous raptor on the first date, but good job, Tyler, for rewarding a good answer. Nervous dinosaur. That's the actual title. Wow. Okay, then. And that was a word, dude, drawing. Ugh. Well, at least you got a thousand points out of the deal. That's gotta feel good. Oh, but random, you're still tied. This does not make me happy. Um. Hey! Hmm. Interesting. This is a... So, the bed is crossed out, and it's clearly a person outside on a Saturday. But what title could be attributed to this, this fucking picture? I don't know. I don't know. But you've got 30 seconds to put in your guesses for what it is. And I can't wait to see. Choices. Fighting the Sun, Sunday Outdoors, War of the Worlds, Tiny Worlds in Television, Truman Show Filming on Sunday, Sunday Driving, Early Sunday Morning, The Apocalypse, or Saturday Morning. Hmm. Uh, well, considering that it's probably not Sunday, unless the person who drew it fucked up the day, I'm gonna guess it's something with Saturday in it, right? Here's everybody's picks. Saturday morning. Oh, somebody just Saturdays fucking cleaned rooms. up. Might have to start getting up earlier. Somebody just cleaned the fuck up. Who was it? Woodrow? Good job, man. Excellent job. 6,000 points to you. Damn it! How are you still tied with me, random? 
take a look at our next piece of art. Also, I'm pretty sure we know who drew this one. Hey! That is very, very impressive, Harwood. Oh, I will. I'm pretty sure with this one, I will. I'm pretty happy about my answer. Because it's not the right one. My answer is going to blow all of you away. Ooh, nice. Okay. Broken egg. An innocent man's bones being cracked. Crack the whip. Person with a whip. Cat woman. Dominatrix. Breaking a bone. Or whiplash. Which one is it, ladies and gentlemen? Crack that whip. Do, 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 do. Pick something. Marcy does need some points. It's true. That's absolutely true. So let's see if we can get her some, while at the same time getting me enough to break away from random, because... All right. Suck it, nerd. What? Lip Lash! Nope, that was Azure's answer. Good job giving giving her 5,000 points. Crack the whip! Nope, that was Dan's. Damn it. What about Catwoman? Oh, that was mine. Thank you. I'll take the 500 points. Person with a whip. Total failure by everybody. I'm sorry, Marcy. I feel so bad. I feel less bad, though, because I think... I think... I think... I think... Ha! Ta-da! I won the game. I won the game. First time back, and I won the game. Oh, that feels so good. Good job, Azure, just swimming in likes over there. 26, I think I saw? Holy crap, fantastic. Okay, uh, I think we're gonna play another game because why the fuck not? So we're gonna do new players and The room code this time is F G E Z I'm gonna put that in chat F G E Z And go for it ladies and gentlemen have fun <laughs> Let's see who can take that trophy from me, son. That's right. I am the champ. Oh, thank you, Queen. I'm glad you're able to make it into the game this time. Okay, this time we have Azure, Random, Dan, Woodrow, Sai, Awer, Queen, and me. Let's do this thing. Um, Harry will probably do. We'll finish this game of Drawful, and then we'll play a game of Quiplash. And depending on what time it is at the end of that, we may take another break, do some more after that. We'll see. Uh, but I, but we will play Quiplash as the next game that we play next round. Something unusual, like Chocolate Bunny or Pinterest. Draw a picture on your device that would have that title, and when you're done, hit Send. And you'll get points for each player that can correctly guess your title. So, just try your best. Okay, let's do that. Uh, yeah, that's fine so far. And then I'm gonna go under like this. Oh 
god, I am terrible at drawing hands. I just remembered that. This is going to be a very fatal flaw in my design. Oh god. Oh, it's so terrible. Oh, I'm so ashamed of my abilities at drawing. Oh, I'm so bad. Oh, if Patrick could see me now, he would be so ashamed. I'm so terrible at doing hands. Oh god. Now, use your device to type in what you think the text oh. for this picture could have been. Or that's yet, something you think could Either the, the most players evil players sandwich I've ever title. seen. You'll get points for every player that picks Or Shredder's your gotten a really big makeover recently. Um <laughs> Oh, okay, Marcy, good. I was going to ask you about that at some point. Ah! Hmm. Also, I like the upside down pitchfork in the middle of the nose, or cheese, or whatever that is. <laughs> Oh, Azure, it's okay. I'm sure we'll all get it at the end. All right, here are your choices. Okay, we've got the Parthenon Sandwich. Cheese Sandwich, Capital Sandwich, Supreme Court, Carbon Carburetor, Liberty Building, Cheese and Crackers, or Dagwood Sandwich. Hey! Which one is it, ladies and gentlemen? Hmm. I really like the way that Parthenon Sandwich looks. I, I think that that's, that's kind of a good... Good description of the, the drawing, and if that be the case, that is an excellent drawing, Azure, actually. What did everybody pick? Cheese and crackers? Nope, that was Dan's drawing. Good job. Capital sandwich? Not quite. Close. Greek capital. Because I'm pretty sure uh, it's not a carburetor. That's random. Way to just give away points. It's a Parthenon sa Oh, Woodrow! Woodrow! Supreme Court. Are we done with this one? I think we're done with Why does it look like a sandwich then? I mean, is that just me or does it look like a sandwich? It really does look like a sandwich. Oh well, whatever. Good job, Harwood. You deserve those points. <clears throat> Now let's take a look at this one. Enter anything that could almost make sense now. Uh. Hmm. Hey! <laughs> oh, a supreme sandwich with a cord in it. I gotcha. I gotcha. That makes sense. That would have been better if it was more like Hero Court or something. And here are your choices. Hmm. We have Dolphin Bullies, Dolphin Mugging, Holding Up the School of Fish, Jalen, Dolphin Robbery, Dolphin Hand Chops, STDs, Lemon Party, or Singular Dolphin Bully. Hey! Uh, which one is it, ladies and gentlemen? Pick something. Personally, I like Holding Up the School of Fish. Uh, Dolphin Hand Jobs is pretty good, although it'd be more like Dolphin Flipper Jobs. So, I don't know. Welcome back, Taco. <laughs> Dolphin robbery. No, that's clearly lunch money, so that's definitely high school stuff, which makes me think. Hey! Oh, 
Ah, thank you so much. And it's not the singular bully because that one's mine. Is it the... Oh, dolphin mugging. Oh, that's a worse. And also randoms. Wow. Okay, then. Oh, wow. And also Azure's. Holy shit. Well, that explains the three completely random ones. Dolphin bullies is the actual title. Dolphin bullies are dangerous because they're smart. Excellent. Excellent job, Dan. Thank you for getting me 2,000 points on that one. Oh, I'm catching up to you, Woodrow. Don't you worry. I'm coming after your butt. Enter your All right, ladies now. and gentlemen, what is this one? Money down, sperm and egg up, sunny side up. I don't know. Um, hmm. Hey! I don't know. This one's a tough one. Are eggs on the rise while money is going down? Also, I really just noticed that the two hearts in the key look like a penis. That's that's pretty great. Got ten seconds left, ladies and gentlemen. All right, there it is. So we have money down, turn up, down with the dollar, selling plasma. More kids, less money. Money will eventually, always eventually leads to the sun. Stock market crash. Down payment on water. And stock market. Hmm. Selling plasma seems like a pretty good guess, but I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go with... Maybe this one? I don't know. This was a tough choice. Here's everybody's picks. Is it stock market crash? Nope, that's mine. Thank you kindly. I appreciate your 500 points. Is it down payment on water? No, but I can see where you would get that answer from. What about money down, turn up? No, you're just giving random more points. Down with the dollar. Oh, that was a word. Damn it. I was hoping. I was really hoping. Is it actually selling plasma? Son of a bitch! That's how I paid for game host school. Oh, Azure, good job. Way to get that one. Okay. That puts me tied with Woodrow. Oh, wow, there is a four way tie for first. Holy dicks. Um. Uh. I was gonna go with rating bowling balls for a second there, and then I noticed that all the faces are different. That's, uh, this is a pretty intense drawing. Uh, Harwood, you actually can sell your plasma. What they do is they take your blood, and they'll separate it with a centrifuge, and take the plasmid portions, and put the red blood cells back into your body. And here are your choices. Um, four different versions of the song, three other jokes. Good luck anybody getting the right answer. Like seriously, good job anybody getting the right answer here. Uh, Pick something. Hey, I don't know. I don't know. This one's tough. All right, who picked what? Raining faces. Nope, that was Dan's. Is it just regular it's raining men? Nope, that's Queen's. You're welcome. What about it's raining heads? Wow! What? I should probably be saving these drawings or something. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, so after that round was random getting a couple of points there. Where are we going? Ha! <laughs> random snuck back in the lead. Okay, let's do this again. Um. Hey! 
Hey! I'm gonna go with the literal answer here, because why the fuck not? It could be the right one. I'm sorry to hear that, puppets. Try refreshing. Uh, I'm still showing no drop frames, so you should be fine. Or so it should be fine, I should say. Here are your choices. Okay, so we've got it's the final countdown. Do 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 do. Five words, counting to five. Art numbers counting countdown, and one two five written out. Uh, shit. Which one is it? Which one is it? Pick hey. something. <laughs> what did everybody pick? Is it countdown? Nope, that's a word, dudes. Good job. Good thing my singing is so horrible that I'll never get copyright restrictions for that one. Nope, that was randoms. No! No! At least he didn't get the right answer either. Okay, five words. That was the actual nobody, title there. Nobody got that one. Well, okay then. It's true, it is a count up. You're right. Also, hush, Queen. I'm sorry. Oh, and with that, I push further behind. Son of a bitch. Next up. Oh, okay, here's my monstrosity. Good luck. Think it says you drew this. Think about what you have done. Okay, I'll be over here in my corner of shame. This corner of shame is awful lonely. Thinking about what I did. <laughs> I kind of feel bad now. And here are your choices. Okay. Quarter whistle. Quarter lick. Magic trick with a quarter. Drunk uncle. Quarter blow jobs money where your mouth is. Coin licking and 25 cent whistle. Those are our choices here. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I do not apologize for anything. Not a damn thing. Here's not a picks. I apologize for that burp. Other than that, I don't apologize for a damn thing. Is it money where your mouth is? No, that's random. God. I'm gonna lose this fucking trophy. First time getting it. In in weeks. Probably months. Because it's coin licking. And nobody got it. Well, I thought it was obvious. I guess I was the only one. Thank you. Thank you, announcer lady. She said it was obvious. I would go back there, but I need to make my guess for the next round. Which I guess isn't really gonna fucking matter because I'm down in six. Okay, our next drawing. Um. Hey! Oh, that shiny trophy. It'll be gone. It'll be just gone like that. Poof. All gone. <laughs> You're spin the bottle, Harry. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, here are your choices. Nervous woman with her first shake weight. Good. That's a good that's a good one. Spin the bottle. Do a barrel roll. Spin the bottle nervously. Nervous glare. A cloud. Shivering. Or scared of spin the bottle. Oh, good night, Taco. Good night. I will see you later. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out. It's always nice to have a taco in the house. Five seconds left. And here are your picks. Is it a nervous glare? No. Because it's clearly nervous about what's going on there in the middle. Is it a barrel roll? No, it's not. Best dance. Is it spin the bottle nervously? Oh no, that's Woodrow's. Yeah, yeah, might as well give him some points. Spin the bottle? Hey! No, but thank you so much. I need that thousand points. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch! Oh. What about just scared to spin the bottle? Yay! Cool. Well, I got I got two thousand points anyway. I'll take it. It's okay. I'm still nowhere near first place. So, well, I'm like a thousand five hundred points away, but my my thing's already gone. So it's okay. Um. What the fuck? Who did this? Who did this? Who's responsible for this? I demand to know! Um... Ha! Good job, Harwood. You're just having the worst luck tonight, aren't you, puppets? And here are your choices. Marathon winner, live band, concert of awesome, after party, office party, Buffy the Vampire Slayer's party, medal ceremony, or party scene. Hey! Where, which one's the real title? Pick it. Pick it, pick it, pick it. You know you want to pick it. Pick the first one that comes to your mind. Just follow your gut. Go with truthiness. I believe in you. Pick the right answer. I know you will. And somebody still fucked it up. All right. Who picked what? Marathon winner. Nope, that stands. Son of a bitch. Is it live band? No. There's no way that's a party. Is it metal ceremony? No, that's mine. Thank you. I appreciate it. So it's a laser team. So is that like a premiere? After party? After party. Okay. Even I would have gotten that one wrong. I see laser team now, but that was not readily apparent. And Sai is our winner from out of nowhere. The Dark Horse competitor. Nobody saw it coming. Excellent job. Cool. So that's two games of Drawful Down. And I feel like that is a pretty good refresher of how that shit should be done. Uh, until we get some more news about the Jackbox Party Pack 2. I think uh, that we're going to play a round of Quiplash quickly. And then take another break. So let me go ahead and change this over. Ba 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 these are the dangers of live production, ladies and gentlemen. When you do a live show, it really helps to have somebody behind the scenes helping you out. Cool. There we are. I think we're good to go.
So, our first room code here is NMIQ. NMIQ. Get your butts on in here, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be good. Kisty, welcome. Glad you can make it. Exactly, Queen. She is just in time. Not late, not early, just in time. All right, so we've got a full room and four people in the audience, which is great. Everybody's in. Let's do this damn thing. Welcome to the game. I'm Hi, Schmitty. Josh Schmitz it's good to see you. But you can call me Josh Schmitty Schmitzenstein, or just Josh, or just Schmitty. Really, Josh? No, just I didn't realize that uh, your name was Josh. Josh. Good to see you. We have yeah, Tim, yeah, Harry, Cy, Random, Dan, is. Woodrow, right. Marcy, Remember, and Award. Dude. Join the audience Excellent. at any point during the game. This is round one. You'll see two prompts on your device. Answer them any way you want. Each answer will go up against someone else's answer, and everyone will vote on which they like most. It's this music always sounds very Russian to me. I don't know why, why that is. Answer. And a bonus if you get. I always somebody doing. A, uh, I always no. imagine somebody doing a Cossack dance to it. Um. Perfect. Uh, Azure, I haven't actually seen it yet, to be quite frank. I tend to avoid watching things like that, even though I totally <clears throat> do have the ability to. I don't, because I like seeing them when you guys do, when they're done. Because that's when they're the best, am I right? So while it is finished and ready to put out, I'm just going to wait for it to go live on the YouTube channel, and that's when I'll watch it. It's the same for X-Ray and Bav and Million Dollars Butt and any other show that we do. I just, I prefer to watch it when it comes out. I mean, it has nothing with being a good guy, Harry, and everything to do with just, you know, I like to enjoy it, so I'll wait for it to be done. I'm completely patient and perfectly fine with waiting. Let's take a look. First one. People, I, as someone who makes perfume, things, like I know white. how frustrating it can be to have somebody okay, come in and look at your stuff before it's done, and then they're already making prejudgments. So what is the name of a new perfume by Betty White? <laughs> Moth's balls or pensioner fetish? These are both pretty damn great. Uh, no, Dan, I wouldn't because I would already have the million dollars, right? So why would I need to sell my butt for more? Oh, where's the audience gonna go? Wow, split right down the middle. Good job, Harry. Next one, another use for cooked spaghetti. Hmm. Uh, you can use it to light fires. Actually, time. wow, wow, wow. That should be a jinx. Um. So, is the tasty wig better or the funny wig better? <laughs> yes, Azure, that is actually a new shirt to celebrate the RTES show. That's the show that uh, we're making with Colton Dunn. It stands for Rooster Teeth Entertainment System. Yeah! Tasty Wig gets a Quiplash. Wow, everyone wants Tasty over just silly. Okay, next I mean, one. if you're gonna use spaghetti, it a might as well be good spaghetti, am I right? Otherwise, you're just using a mop. Time to vote. So, what's a fun thing to do with a bowl of pudding? 
eat it because, you know, free pudding. Or mix in some corn. I don't know why you would wanna... Why didn't anybody use wrestling? Like, seriously? You wrestle in pudding. That is what you do. Duh. Because then not only are you getting to have fun, but then you also get to eat it afterwards. Wow. Well, looks like Free Pudding's gonna get that one. And Quiplash. Nicely done, Woodrow. And next is another name for the Grand Canyon. What's another name for the Grand Canyon? Your mom's vagina or the vast beyond? You tell me, ladies and gentlemen. Make your pick. Sigh very carefully. That's how. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello, Frisco Flame. Welcome. Glad you can make it. And what do we got here? Name for the Grand Canyon, it looks like. It looks like the vagina's gonna take it, y'all. Of course, the depth and sandiness of that big, giant cavern. Just takes us straight to it. Next up, the name of a font nobody would ever use. Uh, Comic Sans. <laughs> Good old Comic Sans, that's right. Comic Sans should only be used for office signs in the kitchen. Coming up next. Well, the worst neither of us get fucking points on that one. Blank. It's voting time. Queen, if that be the case, then you can just go ahead and try refreshing, I guess. That's the best thing that I can do. But I've reduced all of the lags that I can get. I don't know. Here's the thing. With the new with the new place and the new internet lines, it's just taking a little bit for me to find the right signals, I guess. The right latency settings. That sort of thing. Wow. It looks like Justin Bieber pancakes are, in fact, the most awful thing in the world to most people. Sorry, Harry. Your mom is pretty good, but uh, most people would Next like, line, well, actually, never mind. That's just embarrassing crime to get not going to say it. Not going to say it. Most embarrassing crime you can get caught committing. Bestiality or trying to plagiarize Kanye West lyrics. Uh, I feel like you would end up catching him doing the same thing. And I'm surprised that masturbation isn't on there. But we'll see. Hey! Hey, bear fucker! Do you require assistance? <laughs> Looks like bestiality is gonna come out on top there. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> And next, the one phrase the NSA is tired of watching us type into Google. Uh, porn. It's voting time. Wow. Well, I mean, those are actually both semi-related, as it turns out. <laughs> Thanks, Azure. I appreciate it. I think the m more embarrassing crime would be giving lyrics to him. Am I right, Dan? Also, wow. Well, is that our third fucking quiplash of this round? Oh, that, wait, how did that not count? That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. Okay, after round number one, we have D. We have Dan. Dan's on top. On to round two, where all points are doubled. Doubled, I say. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay, gotcha. I didn't see the audience votes. My bad. Um. Oh, you would know all about that at swinging audience, am I right, Dan? Do, do, 
do 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 And then... <laughs> okay, I'm kind of happy with those answers. I'll take it. It is 90% kissy because we had a 91 earlier and that qualified as a quiplash. Let's start this show. The first prompt is the title of a new YouTube cat video that's sure to go viral. Oh, this is going to be bad, isn't it? Cat inside okay, a 60 foot favorite. balloon, or cat and cat gets cats. I feel like that might be just cat sex, right? Like cat and cat get cats means that there that there's a cat and a cat getting it on, and then they get more cats. Am I right? I don't know. Do 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 what did everybody pick? Oh, where's the audience gonna- Wow! Damn it! Yet another 50 fucking 50! And next is... Queen Elizabeth oh, Queen Elizabeth's deepest, deepest, deepest darkest, darkest secret. secret. Uh, sleeping with the doctor, I think. Wasn't that a thing? Her growler is full of cobwebs, or she's a total cougar. Just ask her. Hmm. Five seconds. You better get in those guesses. Which one's the right answer? Is it another? Nope. The audience isn't gonna split this time. It's gonna tip it in dance favor. Good job. Sorry, Harry. Next up, what's the first thing you would do if you could time travel? Would you it's kill Hitler? Done. Or eat more food, rinse and repeat. I, uh, you know what? Look, I feel like killing Hitler is so overdone that the minute we actually do invent time travel, someone else is gonna take care of that shit. Seriously, like, I'm gonna let somebody else do all the fun, you know, the, the important stuff, and I'm just gonna go enjoy my time travel. I'm going to the future, baby. Fuck the past. I already know what happened then. That sucked. Yeah, good job, Marcy. Coming up next, a bad name for a brand of hot sauce. Uh, not that hot, or menstruation. Mm, close. You were very close. Too bad spelling is not anybody's strong suit here. <laughs> You know, Dan, I don't think anybody does. I don't think you'll find anybody here who is very, well, okay, that's not entirely true. The guy who uh, we got to play Hitler in the Million Dollars Butt episode may be one of my favorite things that we've ever done. Like, that was pretty fucking great. He was just so adorable. Like, he was this guy in town, his name is Max Weeby, and you can find him on Twitter, at okay, Max Weeby on Twitter, W-I-E-B-E, -E, I think. Um, and he came in to play Hitler that day, it's and was done. really play ball about the whole thing. Like, we told him the scenario, and it was great to have him on, because he was very uh, playing about it. And we told him that we really wanted him to kind of flirt a little bit with the things that uh, we wanted him to do. So he... He ran with it, and because he's a little bit younger guy, and because we didn't like old age him or anything like that, it really... God, I can't believe I'm gonna say this. It really somehow played up the innocence of Hitler. Fuck you, Dan. I can't believe you beat out my fucking creepy phrase. Damn it! Uh, and so it was really awesome once you see the episode come out because you kind of feel for him, you know? 
And, and, hey, wow. I'm kind of just gonna pick that to see if they make fun of themselves for it. But, um, but yeah, I, I, I loved that episode so much because the guy who played it just did such a stellar job. It really almost felt like the whole affair with Bernie is what led him on the eventual tirade that Hitler goes on. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, the audience is gonna swing that out of fucking Har Harry's favor. Sorry, buddy. That's what you get for laughing at somebody getting wrecked. Really? You know what? F you. F you and f your mother, f your father. If you even have a fucking mother and father, you know how hard we work on this fucking game. Piece of shit. You don't even know. You have no fucking idea. Oh, this game, uh, Quiplash. Uh, it's boring. F you. What are you doing playing here then? Oh, and you want to know what else? It isn't even fucking original. Somebody else answered the same damn thing yesterday. Ungrateful piece of shit. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> what your pancreas tests revealed. It's voting time. Get fucking wrecked. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! I am so glad that just happened. Oh my god! Woo! Oh god, I can't wait to make a special segment of that. Oh, that was fucking great. Oh god. Mmm, thank you Jackbox Games. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Next one, a Socrates quote that nobody bothered to write down. Uh, there is no such thing as a perfect chair. Time to vote. If only I could suck my own dick. I would never leave the fucking house. Like, that's a fact. I cannot teach anyone anything. Oh, fuck it. That's just when he, what, shoots himself or takes poison or something like that? Oh, my God. That was so fucking great. I cannot believe that just happened. <laughs> Oh god, it's actually really funny, like, they, that that kind of shit happens all the time in Jackbox games. Um, in You Don't Know Jack the Ride, if you say fuck you to Cookie three times, it will actually just kick you straight out of the game. It's amazing. Straight up, boot it out to the desktop. Oh my god. I was halfway expecting it to do that. To just fucking quit the game yeah, on us. And I would have I would have been so fucking happy. Wow, Dan. Cleaned up on that one, and I am in last place! Don't give a fuck. Not one single fuck is given because that round was amazing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is last last time, Our prompt is, and then we're gonna go on a break. A so you better make it count. Cop as he writes you a speeding ticket. What is the worst thing to say to a cop while getting a speeding ticket? Harry just got told off by the fucking game. That's what he gets for talking shit to the game. It's gonna happen just when you think it's not. You'll be careful with your answers, Harry. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, that's right, Asher. How you doing? Okay, soak it in. Okay, in round three, Oh, we got two no answers. Votes. You can give them all to one answer or spread them out. We have... This is because I'm black. I was going 75, not 60. Gotta go fast. Is it bad that I have a dead body in my trunk? Hey, pig, nice donut stains. Or, so can I fuck you to get this expunged? <laughs> The fucking you get it, get it expunged is pretty great. Not gonna lie, that one's pretty fucking great. Also, I love the hey pig nice donut stains. <laughs> Fuck the police coming straight out of Compton. I mean, am I right? 
Five seconds. You better get those picks in fast. Gotta go fast with your picks. All right. Damn it, really? I only got two with that one? Son of a bitch. I was hoping that was gonna be funnier. No oh well. I'll go back to my last place corner. No, you can't fucking get it expunged, Dan. Fuck you. They said bad things to say to cops. Not funny things. God. And there it is. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. That's the end. Let's see the final scoreboard. And our final scores are... Dan in first place with 6,140 points. Excellent work, sir. Good, good job. Wow. And with a quiplash there. Oh, I hate you so much. Really? You got two quiplashes that round? Three? Huh. Excellent job, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to take another short break. When we come back, uh, we'll probably play, I don't know, something. Either this or Hand or Fate or something. We'll determine that during the break, but don't go anywhere because you're watching this on twitch.tv slash Tim Leftwich or if you're watching the VODs, it's youtube.com slash Tim Leftwich. You can tweet at me at Tim Leftwich in between rounds to find out what we're doing or uh, yeah, if you're watching the VODs, you'll find out next episode what it is that we chose. So don't worry, you won't have to be quite as in the dark as everybody else. Anyway, we'll be right back in just a couple minutes. Don't go anywhere. Bye.